Hey, what's up guys? We're continuing our series for Destiny 2 New Light players, and if you're veteran players, let me know if this video helps you out as well. Our last video we did in the series, we talked about PvE. In this video, we're going to be talking about PvP and look at what weapons people are mostly using in the Crucible this past week. We have Festival of the Lost, we have Momentum Control, and is any of these events affecting the PvP meta? Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. If you guys do enjoy this video, do me a favor, smash that like button and subscribe if you're new turn on notifications and let's get into it all right so first up let's talk about the meta pvp uh, things are a little bit different than they are in pve uh, and so weapons are constantly changing with sandbox updates different events going on in the game new game modes uh, so the pvp meta is always shifting in this video we're going to be talking about the revoker Luna's Howl as well as play of the game. Now, if we go ahead and pull up in Charlemagne Bot, you'll see that the number one used kinetic weapon right now uh, for this past week is Revoker. For energy, it's the Luna's Howl, and for power weapon, it's actually Hammerhead. Now, we've already covered Hammerhead and how to get it in our previous video, so I'm going to leave a link at the top of the screen now if you guys are interested. Uh, Go ahead and watch that. It's going to help you get Hammerhead for you new light players. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and skip Hammerhead and go to play the game, which is the number two most used power weapon slot in this past week. First up, let's talk about the kinetic slot, the Revoker. Revoker is a pinnacle weapon, and a pinnacle weapon in Destiny 2 means that there is a perk on this specific weapon that can only be found on that weapon. Pinnacle weapons are also legendaries and also come from quests. For Revoker, is going to be from Shax as this is the legendary uh, sniper pinnacle weapon. There's basically three steps you're going to have to do in order to get this quest complete. You're going to have to get 300 total sniper kills in Crucible. Now, if you do go into competitive uh, where you earn glory or, or what is now the survival playlist, you will earn more progress towards your Revoker kills, as well as I believe Iron Banner does work as well as far as increasing how much you go up. Uh, but in total, the base amount is going to have to be 300 sniper kills, 50 precision kills, so 50 headshots, and then in the survival playlist, you're going to have to earn a total of 3,500 glory points. Now, a total meaning that you go up glory and you will never go down progress on this quest step. You don't have to reach 3500 rank, you just need to earn a total of 3500 score. So that is how you get the Revoker, let's go ahead and look at what this thing actually does. Alright, now Revoker is a high impact sniper rifle. Now, uh, the pinnacle perk on it is Reversal of Fortune, and it also does come with Snapshot. So it's a Snapshot Kinetic Sniper with a pinnacle perk of Reversal of Fortune. What this does is when you miss a shot, it returns the bullet to the magazine after a short duration. Now, of course, this doesn't really give you infinite ammo. You can just spray it down. But when you do shoot, there is a period of time that if you missed your shot, uh, you will get that bullet returned. So it's actually really good for ammo economy. Now, the actual base stats on this Pinnacle Sniper is actually really good. It's a high impact, really high range. So with that perk and Snapshot, which is one of the better um, you know, sniper perks that are out there and handling Masterwork, it's actually a pretty good sniper rifle. Now, when this gun came out, a lot of people were criticizing it because it kind of rewards you for missing shots. Uh, but personally, I think it's a great weapon because it makes it a lot more forgiving and a lot more people are obviously using it because it's right here on this list of PvP meta weapons. All right, so moving on to the next weapon for the energy slot this week, we have Luna's Howl. Luna's Howl is a pinnacle weapon uh, that the quest can be picked up from Shax, and it's actually a pretty lengthy and long and drawn out quest. Uh, this is um, right up there with Recluse. A lot of people try to get Luna's Howl uh, when they get Recluse because they both require to get Fabled as one of the quest steps. Shock and Denial is going to be the first quest step and this is for the Remembrance quest for Luna's Howl. The very first quest step is going to require you to go into the survival playlist and you're going to have to play 10 matches. Once you do that, you're going to get Pain and Guilt, which will require you to get 150 hand cannon kills in the survival playlist. 
After that, you're going to reach the quest step, Anger and Bargaining, and you're going to have to get 200 solar kills in the survival playlist. Once you're done with that, you're going to head to Depression and Loneliness quest step, which is going to have you run three Rumble matches. Keep in mind, you don't have to win these, you just have to play three Rumble matches. The next quest step is going to be the Upward Turn, in which you're going to have to get 100 Hand Cannon Precision kills in the survival playlist. Once you're done with all of those quest steps, you'll probably reach the hardest uh, quest step, which is to reach Fabled Rank in the Survival Playlist. Now, of course, in this season, they did add you can go into a solo queue playlist or you can go into the 3v3 playlist. Uh, but either way, you're going to have to reach Fabled Rank in order to get Luna's Howl. Now, my biggest tip I can give for you guys trying to go for this is to try and get all of the quest steps done before trying to get the Fabled Rank. Uh, get the hand cannon kills, the solar kills, uh, the rumble matches, and the headshot kills all before you hit Fabled because those will not lose progress. But if you happen to hit Fabled rank before the season ends and you're not on that quest up, it's not retroactive and when the season ends your season rank will reset and then you'll have to hit Fabled again. So again, strongly suggest trying to get those quest steps done before hitting Fabled rank as well as it makes it a lot easier uh, getting all the kills you need first and then worry about the rank next. It's kind of annoying uh, to try and get headshot kills when you're at Fabled or higher uh, just because every single match in skill-based matchmaking is going to be a lot more difficult. Once you complete the Fabled quest step, you can go back to Shaxx and pick up your Luna's Howl, the pinnacle hand cannon uh, for Crucible. Now let's go ahead and look at Luna's Howl and see what this is all about. So as I mentioned before, Luna's Howl is the pinnacle weapon, and the pinnacle perk on it is going to be Magnificent Howl. When you rapidly land two precision headshots, it increases the next shot's damage and range for a short duration. Uh, this is the same pinnacle perk that's on the Not Forgotten, and the Luna's Howl is pretty much similar to Not Forgotten. However, Luna's Howl does have a lot more stability than Not Forgotten. Not Forgotten does have a lot more range. That's obviously why it's a higher tier weapon and does take a lot more to actually unlock it. But let's talk about Luna's Howl for a minute. We have Magnificent Howl, Zen Moment. It does have Drop Mag and Stability Masterwork. Overall, pretty good hand cannon. It's got 150 RPM. It used to be a 180, uh, but then it did get nerfed and they restructured it. Uh, but it is a precision frame hand cannon. And overall, this is a really, really consistent 150 legendary hand cannon. Overall, Luna's Howl is pretty good. Obviously, since it's pinnacle, it does take a while to get it, uh, but it's definitely worth trying to grind and grab it um, if you're going for that fabled rank or you're hopping into comp at all. This gun was extremely popular uh, just a couple seasons ago, uh, and even now it's still popular as it's still number one on the energy slot for PvP meta. All right, now last but not least, let's talk about the heavy slot. Now, of course, like I said, we're skipping Hammerhead for this video. We're gonna be talking about play of the game. Now, play of the game is a, a random drop uh, grenade launcher that does come from Crucible. To get play of the game, you can either play Crucible matches, it'll randomly drop. When you rank up in either Valor or Glory, you can get to drop from there. Or if you go and spend tokens at Shacks, you can get it as a random drop. Now, it is a random rolled weapons, which means that we do have some random perks to keep an eye out for when we're looking for a PvP roll. Now, when it comes to what the best PvP roll you guys can keep an eye out for, you want to look for things that have high blast radius and high velocity. Blast radius is when the grenade actually hits, it creates a bigger explosion with bigger blast radius. Now that doesn't necessarily do more damage, but anything that's in that bigger blast radius is going to take damage, so the higher the better. Velocity is when the grenade actually comes from the barrel uh, to when it actually hits the target. So the higher the velocity, the faster your grenade is going to travel, the quicker you can do your damage. Both of these stats I think are going to be key when it comes to trying to find what the best play of the game is uh, as far as what you can get. Now let's go ahead and talk about the traits. There's a few different perks you want to keep an eye out for if you happen to find these. Uh, in the first trait slot, the three best ones I think would be rangefinder, snapshot, and threat detector. 
Now, Range Fighter actually does something pretty cool. Uh, one, it increases your effective range uh, as well as your zoom magnification, but it also does increase velocity for when you shoot grenades. So, that, like I said before, the velocity is one of the perks you want, so Range Finder is definitely going to be a go-to. Snapshot, of course, is going to be good, so you're going to aim down sights quicker. Um, so, I think those are going to be your best options. Threat Detector is pretty, it's decent, but I think Range Finder and Snapshot are going to be better. When it comes to the final uh, trait slot, we have uh, probably Rampage or Quick Draw, I think are going to be your best options. Rampage, obviously, when you get a kill, is going to increase your damage, which means you can possibly get maybe a double or even a triple kill um, just from one grenade. And, of course, Quick Draw is going to make it where you can pull out your grenade launcher quicker, and so that's always going to become handy when it comes to 1v1 in uh, the Crucible. But those are going to be the two traits, uh, or two options for traits you, you should keep an eye out for. Uh, and I think definitely something with higher blast radius and velocity when you're choosing uh, your barrel and magazine perks. Alright guys, but that is going to wrap it up for this video. That is how to get the Revoker, the Luna's Howl, as well as play the game. Three of the top uh, most used weapons in this past week in Destiny. Uh, so let me know your guys' thoughts. Let me see what let me know what weapons you want to see in the next video. Uh, we'll probably go back to another PVE meta as things have shifted in just a couple weeks. Uh, so you guys can expect that from me in the near future. But thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully this guide helped you out. If it did, be sure to do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one.